Written by Tennant Redbank. Illustrated by Laurie Timinski. Designed by Stuart Smith. A princess rises early. A princess doesn't doodle. A princess is patient, cautious, and clean. Queen Eleanor had many rules for how to be a princess. Merida, her daughter, hated all of them. Only when she was alone did Merida feel free. Since Merida would be queen one day, and she was old enough to marry, Queen Eleanor felt it was time to find her a husband. Marriage, Merida wailed. Queen Eleanor and King Fergus invited the oldest sons of three lords to compete in the royal games. The winner would marry Merida. There was young Mackintosh, young MacGuffin, and wee Dingwall. Merida did not want to marry any of them, so she won the royal games herself. Queen Eleanor was furious. Merida was angry too. She was tired of always having to do what her mother wanted. Merida lost her temper. She slashed her sword through a family tapestry, right between the images of her and her mother. Then Merida jumped onto her horse and rode away from the castle. When she came upon a ring of stones, she saw a flickering blue light. More lights joined it. The will-o'-the-wisps were forming a trail leading her into the woods. Merida followed the will-o'-the-wisps to a woodcarver's cottage. But the woodcarver was really a witch. She offered to make one spell for Merida. Merida wanted a spell to change her mother's mind. The witch agreed to do it and started brewing something in her cauldron. When she was done, she gave Merida a spell cake. Back at the castle, Merida brought the cake to Queen Eleanor. She hoped it would make her mother change her mind about the marriage. Instead, it changed Queen Eleanor into a bear. Oh no! What had Merida done? Years earlier, a giant bear named Mordu had bitten off one of the king's legs. Now, Fergus heard a bear. He sensed a bear. Right away, Fergus knew a bear was in the castle. He tracked it up the stairs, around a corner, and down a hallway. Merida's mother was a bear. Her father was hunting her mother. Merida needed help. Merida's little brothers led Fergus on a wild goose chase. The queen got away. To thank her brothers, Merida said they could have any treat in the kitchen. Uh-oh! Merida rushed back to the witch's cottage. The witch was gone, but she had left a clue. Fate be changed. Look inside. Mend the bond torn by pride. What did it mean? In the woods, Merida and her mother learned to work together. For the first time, they enjoyed each other. At last, Merida understood the witch's clue. It's the tapestry, she cried. Mend the bond torn by pride must mean fixing the tapestry would make her mother human again. At the castle, Fergus spotted Eleanor. He thought she was a wild bear. Mom, run, shouted Merida. Fergus and the other men chased Eleanor. Merida chased the men. Her brothers helped. They were bears now, too. They had eaten the spell cake. Merida had to fix the tapestry fast. The hunting party closed in on the bear and tied her to the ground. Fergus raised his sword, but Merida stepped in 
and blocked his blow. She had saved her mother just in time. Suddenly, Mordu appeared. When he turned toward Merida, her mother broke free from her ropes. She fought Mordu and won. The evil bear was crushed by a giant stone. Even though the tapestry was fixed, Eleanor was still a bear. Merida threw her arms around her mother. I want you back, Mum, she said. I love you. At those words, her mother changed back into the queen. One day, Merida might be queen, but for now, there would be no more changes. Eleanor and Merida had learned to love each other, just the way they were.